Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're just going to do a little bit of cleanup, some optimization, and show how to download this flow so that we can back it up and use it again later. So let's get started. First things first, let's take a look at our dashboard. And as you can see, we've got start, stop. Those are the same color. And we've got this default tag here. Let's, let's clean that up a little bit. Let's head to start. And let's change the background to green, just like so. And done and deploy, just to make sure that worked. Perfect. And for stop, let's change that to red. Done and deploy. All right, and as you've noticed, every time we deploy something, we get that stupid little error message and not everyone's going to get that. I have a feeling that might be a temporary bug. But if you are getting it, I can show you kind of how to clear that up. So let's go and head up here to our flows. As you know, we've had debug open. But if we click here, you can actually see our flows and our configuration nodes. And whenever we try to deploy, you'll see it's the UI base that's causing the problem. And that's right here. Now, if we double click on that, there's actually nothing we can do. So what I'm just going to do is just delete it and deploy. Just like so, let's go back to our dashboard, refresh, make sure it looks good. And everything is still working just fine. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but it works just fine without it. So you can do that to get rid of that pesky little error message. Now, one thing you typically want to do with your flows is try not to get these lines too out of whack. If it starts leaning back too far, it starts to become somewhat difficult to read. So you can move things around to straighten them up and make them a little bit cleaner. But of course, none of that is absolutely required. It's just something that will help everything look better. And I'll just move that to center it. All right, and I'll deploy again. Everything is fine. So now let's say we want to download this flow to reuse either somewhere else or just to have a backup. So what you can do is click right up here and export, just like so. And as you can see, you can do selected nodes, current flows, or all flows. Since we only have one flow, we'll keep it here. And you can even look at the JSON model here. Now this currently is not storing any of the secrets. So you will have to specify any password you set or any of the keys you used. You're going to have to specify those again. But for the most part, that's perfectly fine. So if I click on export nodes and download, you'll see that a flows.json file has been downloaded. Now you can also click up here and export. And you can just copy the whole thing to the clipboard. And then if we want, we can add a flow, just like so. Click up here and go to import. And paste that in, just like so. Or of course, you could have selected that file that you downloaded. And import, just like so. As you can see, they already exist. We can import a copy if we'd like, just like so. All right, and there is everything again. And of course, this here is going to need to be reconfigured if you're in a brand new installation. But if you're not in a brand new installation, it actually might just work perfectly fine. There it is. So that's about all we really need to cover for this lesson. We just wanted to see how to clean things up a bit and also how to download that flow file so that you have a backup of this configuration. So go ahead and mark this lesson complete and come on back for the next one.